السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس اٹس می مس چہارا اینڈ آئی ہوپ دیٹ یو آل آر فائن ایٹ یور ہومس یو آل آر ڈوئنگ ویل ایٹ یور ہوم سو لیٹ اسٹارٹ دا ڈیز ویڈیو لیٹ می اسٹارٹ یور دا ڈیز ٹاپک اٹ ول بی آف انگلش گرامر اوکے سو ٹو ڈے وی آر ہیونگ ناؤنس سو ایز یو نو دیٹ واٹ آر ناؤنس ناؤن آر دا نیمنگ ورڈس ایز یو نو دیٹ like actually noun is the name of a person a place or anything uh, whatever we are having in our surroundings they all are noun so in today's video we will just discuss about some kinds of noun so as far as here we have some proper noun common noun and on the next page you have a lot of kinds so we will just discuss these see what is coming here in the fill in the blanks this is your task just do this task like like as we have discussed in our online session so just write arrival here heat here and seat of hot or right side here and seat of c that was that things okay so first kinds we have common and proper nouns so as far as common noun are concerned they are generic they are general nouns like general things please things people whatever they are general like author is here author is concerned with like whatever writer is we don't know the name of the writer but this is common okay as far as cities are concerned so there are so many cities so city will come in common nouns like see planets here so if we just take name of that proper planets like jupiter mars whatever they are so they will come in proper noun but if we just talk about only planets so they are common okay and if we talk about language so there are so many language if we talk about only special language like spanish is here so it comes in proper noun whatever we can take uh, you know english or those specific names are come in proper noun okay, so as we take some common nouns like we can say car car it may be any car uh, but if we are taking name of any car so like corolla honda city whatever they are so they will come in proper noun because they are specific that is why and you can see a lot of examples here now the next topic is we have countable and uncountable nouns like so here as you know that countable noun so it means that the things which we can count with the help of our mind with the help of our fingers so they are, comes in countable nouns the things which are uncountable like milk flour salt which we cannot count so they will come in uncountable nouns like you can see in this image like milk flour we cannot count these all things with the help of our hand but as far as countable nouns are concerned we can count these all things whatever you can see in this chart so this is the major difference between both these are also the kinds of noun i hope it is clear to you all so you can see countable nouns can be counted and uncountable nouns cannot be counted so here are some examples like apple school picture we can count these things easily but as far as some examples are here like uncountable nouns so information we cannot count we water we cannot count so they are uncountable nouns and countable nouns takes singular or plural verbs together always take singular verb so if we talk about uncountable noun so all this always take singular verb okay so this is also the major difference between both things and this is the very major kind of noun so i hope it is clear to you and as far as next is concerned so next kind we have uh, concrete and abstract nouns so what are concrete nouns names of thing that is tangible and can be touched or can be heard or can be smelled they are concrete nouns things which we can you know touch which we can uh, smell or taste it that are concrete nouns but abstract nouns are those which we cannot touch they are just like the feelings here you can see abstract nouns are words that refers to entities that cannot feel with our five senses okay like feelings whatever the feelings are happy sad so these all will come in as abstract noun if we ca- talk about concrete noun so here we can feel it uh, here we can touch these all things like skin is concrete airplane is concrete a uh, perfume is concrete what is abstract then energy okay believe these things are abstract because we just feel these things okay and we cannot touch these and we have you know strength strength is abstract so these all are the kinds and 
this is your task this is your students what you will do here just match these concrete noun and abstract noun so this is your home task i hope it is very clear to you all so best of luck for your homework and goodbye